Uh, this is a very beautiful place. Emerlin's net ranch. I love it. Damn, I would gladly take some acid and walk around these places. <laughs> I love that thing. Uh, no doubt. I do interesting very well. It's trusting I don't do so well. Oh, please. Partner. This is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner if he likes us. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves? To this clown, what you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. Listen, uh, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay. I'll tell you what. Arthur. Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now you go get that, and then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin by marriage. I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now you survived that. Where is he? Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmody Dell. It's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I'd love it. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. <laughs> By marriage. <laughs> so it's okay to rob your cousin. By marriage. Really? Really. Lead the way. Goat. He said the place is just northwest of here. Me? The other one who's been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call it. Well, clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter. Could have played that better, couldn't you? Thought you wanted me here to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but you know how this works. Come on, Hosea. That feather's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. He won't cause us any problems. A safe spot to fence wagons and coaches, that's easy money for us. I guess you're right. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. If the two of us can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus' old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now. <laughs> How you feeling about things now? What things? This place. The gang. Been here a few weeks now. Good, I think. Better. I figured more folks would have cut and run on us, given everything that happened. Like Dutch always says, a lone wolf don't last long out on the plains. He does like to trot that one out. People see that, especially when they get a few years on them. Even someone like Micah. There's a couple of folks I wish had cut and run. Maybe they'd say the same about you. Oh, yeah? That means yeah. they say that because <laughs> Jose is a close friend of Arthur's.
You heard me, didn't you? We should go on foot. Yeah, yeah. I heard you. Let's see what we're dealing with. Come on. There's the house. I see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. Okay, let's take a quick look at the place. can do it now I'll head over distract him by putting on a little show where you sneak into the house find what you can then get the stagecoach or wait until nightfall sneak in then I'll get the coach you can try the house what do you think well that's a good idea night let's wait We're gonna have a lot more time. Okay, let's go. Sure. While they are sleeping. You go into the house. I'll go find this wagon. Maybe take a peek through the windows before you go in. Make sure it's all quiet. Mm -hmm, I'll do that. My last gameplay I did today, and uh, I wasn't able to uh, search everything because Jose is distracting the guy, and there's a little boy inside the house that you might stumble up. So I'll try the night. Everything's clear. Yeah, we can go. Oh, shit. <laughs> yep. Money. Ten dollars. That's awfully nice of you. What's inside that cabin? Snake oil. Shh, Arthur. Be quiet. We'll pick that up. something in the chimney please don't wake up
just a little more to go. Oh, that's an upgrade. Why did you stop snoring? Don't wake up, please. Just one chest left. Come on. Arthur, open this fucking chest. Not giving me the options. Why the hell? Oh, there he is. Come on. There is a money clip I, I see. amount of cash Get on Anything on the porch Boy. Come on get on and let's head back Good job, old man. <laughs> and I'm gonna sell all the stuff I found. We're gonna be in a good money, we'll pay up the bounties. Nicely done. We got everything we needed. And I'm pretty sure they never even knew I was there. Yes, we. Less problems, the better right now. Just need to get this back to Seamus in one piece, and it's a good night's work. Mm -hmm. So what were you able to lift from the house? Found some money stashed away. Must be a few hundred, not too bad. Not bad at all. Idiot! This was easier than hunting a thousand pound grizzly anyway. <laughs> no doubt. I won't forget that in a hurry. I'm looking forward to your retelling of that one around the campfire. <laughs> it wasn't the first time Mr. Matthews had stared death in the eye. And as usual, he did not flinch. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So how long do you think we're going to stick around here for? Not sure. Until we can't, I suppose. Feels like we're starting to get back on our feet, slowly but surely. Just need to keep at it. Dutch has a new money chest stashed in a safe spot away from camp, but it's a long way from being full. I hope it's not stashed in town like we did in Blackwater. Even if we had to dump the money from the ferry, we could have at least got the rest out if it was hidden someplace else. No, I think we've learned our lesson there. And a few other lessons besides. Okay, here we are. Just pull the coach into the barn there. It was a fun mission and uh, I got a lot of money. I I think going at night is better. What are we doing off the road? <laughs> what? <laughs> Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? Fine. Nice people. Mm. Park that thing in here. Quickly. Uh, nice work, Hosea. It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse, but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? Uh, no. Nah, I'll catch up with you later. Okay. 
Stay out of trouble. Loot everything from the... Well, I missed something? Uh, that sucks. What time is it? Hey, you, how you doing? Wanna be friends? You'll be all right. <laughs> Gonna sleep the night off. Sleep till morning. Yeah. Breakfast in the morning, don't we? Don't we? And brush. Try and take me out again. See where it gets you. Yeah, that's all yours. And that's all yours. Even that. Titanium band, seven dollars. That's it. Oh, look at that. I have a gold bar for 500 bucks. Yeah, I'll sell all of it. We can be using crafting, so I'm not gonna sell that. And I'll sell. God, what is this? I don't want the law in here after you. Oh. Uh, Bounties. Yep. Ah. But I wanted to pay. Ah. Okay, well. This guy's doing just two of them searching for me. Looking for me, huh? Damn it, a lot of them, I thought there were two of them, I'm gonna fucking kill you.
I'm getting away? Oh no, I'm not. I want to kill all of you. Bitches. I don't know why do I gain negative boy. honor. Killing bounty hunters. Okay, I'll pay. To be chased. Hello there, pleased to see you. you I got a lot of money. Then. Good for you, I guess. Pay all. I'm shocked you didn't get jumped walking in here with that kind of price on you. <laughs> Thanks, mister. Actually, I did. Boy, hey, where are you headed, mister?